Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to cover how to input numbers into your TI-84 Plus CE in scientific notation, as well as how to get answers in scientific notation. I will also cover how to obtain answers in engineering notation. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, I'm going to start with how to enter numbers in scientific notation. Let's say I want to type in 1 million into my calculation. Keeping track of all the zeros is very difficult. That's a perfect example of when you would want to use scientific notation. I'm going to open a parenthesis and then I'm going to type in 1 on the number pad. So I have this so far and then I'm going to press second and then the comma button to choose E. So this is what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to type in 6 on the number pad and then close the parentheses. So the entry looks like this. And if I press enter, you can see that the calculator has interpreted this as 1 million. 1e6 is the same as saying 1 times 10 to the 6. Now, if you wanted to use this in your calculation, you would type it in the same way. So I'm just going to arrow up and select it since I already have it typed in. So I'm going to just arrow up and press enter. So if you're using this in a calculation, you would just type in uh, 1e6 in parentheses. So I'm going to multiply this by 20 so times 20 and then press enter. This is what it looks like. So I have 1 million times 20, which gives me 20 million. I input uh, 1 million in scientific notation to avoid keeping track of zeros, but my answer has seven zeros. So it would make sense that I would also want my answer to be displayed in scientific notation. In order to do that, I want to go to mode, so press the mode button, and then once uh, the cursor is on normal, so arrow down until it's on normal, and then press the right arrow until the cursor is on psi and for scientific notation, and then press enter. So uh, psi is now highlighted in black, so press second mode to quit. And if you just simply press enter, it will carry out the most recent operation. So it will give 20 million in scientific notation. Now, if you're working with units, having your answers displayed in engineering notation is sometimes a lot easier. So I'm going to go to mode, and this time I'm going to arrow right until the cursor is on ENG for engineering notation, and I'm going to press enter. So now ENG is highlighted in black and then I'm going to press second mode to quit and once again I'm just going to press enter and the most recent calculation is once again uh, uh, carried out and we get 20 times 10 to the sixth as our answer. In engineering notation the powers are always multiples of 3, so 3, 6, 9, or negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, etc. So that's convenient if you're working with units. For example, this could be 20 megapascals instead of a 2 times 10 to the 7 pascals. So it just makes life easier sometimes. I hope this video helps in some way. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. There will be more videos coming soon. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to help. Until next time, take care, guys.